Hello, this is Amanda Wilkson of Amanda Wilkson Tarot. It is Wednesday, December the 29th, 2021. Welcome to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Glad to have you. If you are a long-term subscriber, I thank you for your continued support. If you have not already done so, could you please like, share, and subscribe? Thank you. How are you doing today, Taurus? I hope you're doing well. I hope you're taking care of yourself and the people around you and vice versa. I hope you know you're beautiful, you're gorgeous, and you have a beautiful star shining right inside of you. This is a general reading. Will not resonate with every Taurus out there. Take what does and leave the rest. And there's no gender in tarot. Cut in the deck for Taurus. Spirit. The Hierophant. Commitment. Engagement. Marriage. First card out. Ten of Wands. Wands are fire energy. There is Leo Sagittarius. This is the end of a burdensome cycle. You've been carrying a burden for way too long. It is time to drop that burden down and move on to a passionate new beginning. What is crossing this? The Queen of Pentacles. The Queen of Money. Pentacles are Earth energy. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. She got a little bag here. This person is independent, grounded, balanced, stable. A business person makes their own money, takes care of their money. Pentacles, Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is most like your energy. Consciously known. Five of Cups, River of Tears. Looks like someone broke your heart. You are here. You are sad, depressed. Um, focusing on these three spilled cups, but there's always these two cups, uh, the two cups of soulmate energy that are waiting for you after you have recovered from the spilled cups. Unconscious. Oh, ten cups. Cups are water energy. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. This is ultimate abundance and love. This is a family, happy couple, children if you want, pets, look at this beautiful house with a heart on it, property, ultimate abundance and love. Looks like you got over the sadness, recent past, the world, oh this might have been a karmic cycle. The world talks about the end of a cycle. Next card is the Fool, which is the beginning of a new cycle. So this is the end of a cycle. Near future, Ten of Swords. Oh, the end of a very painful cycle. What have you been... Uh, karmic cycle, yep. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is the end of a very painful cycle. But the good thing about the Ten of Swords is... Next card is Ace of Swords, which is new, honest, clear communication. Moving on. Where do you find yourself? Seven of Wands, overcoming obstacles. Wands are fire energy. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Lots of obstacles have been coming at you, but you have persevered and overcome each and every obstacle. Yep, end of a karmic cycle. External influences, four of swords. Swords are air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Four of swords, this talks about taking some time to yourself to rest, relax, recuperate, rejuvenate. Always a good idea, especially after the end of a karmic cycle. Hopes and or fears. Mo moving forward, the chariot, cancer energy, the chariot. Talks about moving forward, a uh, fork in the road, choosing a path. I like it. Moving on. Overall outcome. Ace of Pentacles, new money. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is new money. A new job, a raise, a promotion, money from a side project, inheritance, new money. Look at the little uh, grasshopper like. 
Bottom of the deck, moving on. The Hierophant, commitment. This is talking about engagement, marriage, increase in the level of commitment in a relationship. I like the spirit board. Ooh, eight of wands. Wands are fire energy. Aries Leo Sagittarius. Eight of wands talks about new, passionate communication, usually rapid. Text messages, messages on social media, messages on dating sites, phone calls. Also, oh, I forgot to say with the chariot. You might be at a distance but from the person you are interested in. Eight of Wands, you may be at a distance from the person you are interested in. Ten Pentacles. Ultimate Financial Abundance. Pentacles are Earth Energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is Ultimate Financial Abundance. This is the whole shebang. <laughs> I don't know. Um, this is the happy family, a couple, children if you want, pets. Um, the house, the property, ultimate financial abundance. Yeah, love and money here. Knight of Pentacles. Pentacles are earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Look at this sack of money. Person is independent, ground about stable, a business person. But this is a very slow moving energy. This person is the kind of person that watches you go through a burdensome cycle, painful cycle, and we'll wait till you are recovered and then bring you an offer. But it's a very step by step by step slow energy. Three of Pentacles, working on a solid foundation. Pentacles are Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is talking about working on a solid foundation. This could be work or this could be you and your new person coming in. End of a burdensome cycle. Queen of money. Ultimate abundance in love. End of a karmic cycle. End of a painful cycle. Overcoming obstacles. Rest, relax, recuperate. Moving forward. New money, commitment, new passionate communication, ultimate financial abundance, the night of money, and working on a solid foundation. Could have been third party. End of a burdensome cycle. Being sad, depressed. End of a karmic cycle. End of a painful cycle. but overcoming obstacles and moving forward. Oracle cards. No place like home. Four swords. Taking some time to rest, relax, recuperate. Breathe. Kind of still kind of like um, Four of Swords energy. Rest, relax, recuperate. Never ending story. Karmic cycle. Karmic cycle. Where is it? Feels like things are going over and over and over. But you're moving on from this. Separation time apart from your partners on the horizon. I feel like this is past energy. End of a burdensome cycle. End of a painful cycle. End of a karmic cycle. Romantic feelings. Your feelings are real and worth exploring. Moving forward, passionate communication, and attraction. You attract romantic love.
by enjoying this moment fully. I like that. See what Oracle or see what majors say. The devil, Capricorn energy, not surprised. There was toxic behavior here. Lying, cheating, stealing, addictions most likely. And the lovers, Gemini energy, someone's coming in for you. Someone's coming in for you. Moving on. Well, we did have Ten of Cups, right? End of a burdensome cycle. Queen of Money. End of a karmic cycle. Ultimate abundance in love. Moving forward. Taking some time to rest, relax, recuperate. Overcoming obstacles. New money. Commitment. Passionate communication. Ultimate financial abundance. And working off solid foundation. No place like home. The number in this story. Breathe. Separation. Romantic feelings. Attraction. The devil. And the lovers. Close out that so circle. You got money and love coming in. All right, Taurus, have a great rest of your day. This is Amanda Wilkinson of Amanda Wilkinson Tarot. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye for now.